One of my guilty pleasures has always been the vicarious consumerism of these dorm hall videos. But what I've never understood is all the overconsumption of it all. Why do people feel the need to buy an entire new life just for a temporary move out to university? It just doesn't make sense to me. And I think it should be more normal to just use the things you already have. Of course, there are exceptions. Some people might not have access to certain resources at home or their parents won't let them take things or they're moving out permanently. I think that it's a good time to reduce the level of glamour associated with buying new things for the sake of buying new things. It's a lot better for your wallet and for the environment to just stick to the things you already know and love anyways. With that in mind, let's get started with the dorm hall that you're all here to see. Let's start with the most aesthetically pleasing portion of this haul, which are my two least essential but most fun purchases. These are lighting setups. First, I got this, oop, my hair stuck. I got this string of star-shaped fairy lights. They're super fun to look at and they have a lot of different blinking settings that I'm probably not gonna use, but word to the wise, if you step on these, they hurt worse than stepping on Legos. Like, I'm pretty sure I bruised the bottom of my foot because I stepped on these when they were laying on the ground earlier, so be careful. Don't put them on the ground. I also got this fun contraption that's called a galaxy lamp. It's partially a Bluetooth speaker, and the main thing I'm using it for, since the sound quality isn't spectacular, is that it projects different star and cloud patterns. And I think it'll just be fun for setting a vibe in my room where I spend all my time studying by myself at night because we are not doing social interaction. No one is coming into my room. Next, I also picked up a couple of different storage solutions. I'm mostly just going to be taking a bunch of stuff that I already have from my room at home. But one thing that I've needed more of are these command hooks. And since Costco sells this very reasonably unit priced set of 20. I picked up a crippity crap ton of them. And the other thing I didn't already own at home is this shower caddy hanging organizer, which is much larger than I expected it to be. I'm living in a single, actually. It's normally a triple, but um, for social distancing reasons, they've converted all of the triples into single occupancy rooms. So I get my own private bathroom, even though I'm paying the cost as if I were living in a triple. What a fantastic deal. In order to keep that space organized, I got this hanging organizer that goes over the top of a shower head to keep all of my bath, shampoo, and other supplies. Next, we have this item, which doesn't really fit into any of my categories, but I'm just gonna talk about it right now because it relates to my discussion of living in a single room that is originally meant to be a triple. This is one of those backrest pillows. Let me just set this down and just lean on it while I talk. For this room that used to be a triple, they're still gonna leave in all of the original furniture, meaning I'm going to have three beds for one person. So I'll probably use one of them for my actual sleeping bed, and then I can convert one of the other ones into a makeshift couch using this lovely pillow. Another item that doesn't really fit into any category, but are essential, are these Twin XL sheet sets. It's kind of annoying that I have to buy entire new sets of sheets just because university beds are five inches longer than my bed at home, but here they are, sheets. My next essential supply is actually the sponsor of today's video, which is Native Deodorant. I was originally interested in trying out their product and eventually partnering with them because my skin is very sensitive. I don't know exactly which ingredients it finds irritating, but a lot of other deodorants that I've tried cause my armpits to feel very tingly, almost itchy, and I haven't had this problem at all with native deodorant. This is aluminum-free, paraben-free, sulfate-free, and their fragrances are made with a variety of different natural ingredients. And this is not like some sort of ooh-ooh natural Pinterest DIY that's very anti-science. Like, it actually works. For the two-ish months I've been using this so far, it lasts well through my runs and through my full days of activity. 
The scent I've been mostly using lately is cucumber and mint, which smells very fresh. I'd say it's what I imagine the concept of a Ravenclaw to smell like. The other two scents I'm trying out are coconut and vanilla, which is a nice warm tropical scent. This one reminds me of Hufflepuff. And the other is lavender and rose, which has a floral scent, very reminiscent of its two namesakes. Additionally, Native is vegan and cruelty free. So if you'd like to save 33% on a set of your own native deodorant, visit the link in the description below and use the code STUDYQUILL to get a pack of three for $24 when it's normally $36. Thanks for sponsoring this video and subsidizing the rest of the haul, which we will get into now. We have the college dorm room classic, the Brita filter pitcher, along with two extra refill filter things. If you've been doing your dorm research, I'm sure you've heard enough about these by now, but these are super useful for dorms in normal times. And right now especially, I don't really want to be using the communal water bottle refilling stations, so I can just fill this baby up with the water from the sink in my private bathroom and then drink all the water that my heart and stomach desire. I'm also planning to rent a microwave and fridge from the school, again, so I don't have to use the communal microwave or food storage areas. And because it's not that expensive, it's about the same price if I had just bought these two things myself. You know, it's just me, I'm not splitting these with a roommate. So renting is pretty economical for me. And besides those things, I'm gonna buy most of my snacks when I get there to save space in transport. But one thing I did get in advance is my organic green tea from Costco brand, which is actually from the Edo N tea brand. I truly believe I can survive anything and everything on green tea alone. So hopefully UCLA with its number one ranked college dining in the country does not put us through that whole watermelon chicken salad debacle that NYU went through but if they do, I'll still have plenty of my own snacks and food to get me through it. The first thing I have not yet assembled, so just got these random pieces of things, is a miniature vacuum. I got these Costco-sized containers of Clorox disinfecting wipes. I also got this thing that's called a scrunchable laundry tote, which is basically a laundry hamper basket that has handles on the top, which makes it a lot easier to carry around. This is kind of unnecessary because I already do have a hamper in my room at home, but my fingers get really cramped and tired just from carrying that thing down the stairs. So I think I needed to treat myself to a bit of a hamper upgrade for university where the laundry room might be all the way like two blocks away. Here at home, I generally like to air dry my clothes, one, because I'm super paranoid about things shrinking in the wash, and just because it saves electricity and is gentler on your clothes long term. And I can save a bit of money because I don't necessarily have to pay to use the school's dryers. And the last laundry supply is this set of wool dryer balls. These are a more sustainable alternative to dryer sheets. You just put them in the same as you would with those fabric softener sheets, except these are entirely reusable. Next, we've got a couple of different supplies that along with social distancing procedures and generally not going outside will help to keep me safe during this pandemic. Most notably, a ton of face masks. I got a box of 50 disposable face masks. I also picked out four different adorable reusable cloth masks from Redbubble. Although I have a large head for my height and these are still very large on my face. Like they don't, they don't really stay on because they're too big. So if you guys have any tips for dealing with that, just let me know in the comments. And my parents also gifted me this pack of four more face masks. These are cloth face covers from 32 Cool. My parents are also kind enough to gift me five of these little hand sanitizer bottles. I also have a lot of other larger Purell hand sanitizer bottles in my room already, so I'll probably take those with me too. UCLA has a variety of COVID testing requirements and we have daily symptom monitoring. So I have this thermometer so that I can check my temperature each day, and make sure I do not have a fever. 
And lastly, for safety, in a matter that is not really COVID related, I got this pepper spray. I don't know why I'm laughing. It's a depressing reality that I kind of have to use this. By the way, if you're thinking about getting some self-defense tools for yourself for college, just make sure to check your state guidelines as to what is actually legal for you to have. For example, in California, you're allowed to have pepper spray, but you can only use it in self-defense. And that is my haul. I've defined haul only as things that I bought new specifically for college, but if you'd like to hear more about my packing process, maybe a video about all of the stuff that I'm bringing with me, not just the stuff I bought, let me know. I might do something like that in the future. I hope you enjoyed this video and I upload new videos about student life every week. I also post photos of my notes and bullet journal on my Instagram, which is at studyquill. See you next time. Thank you.